so we filmed for about an hour or 45 minutes, and the, the episodes usually get chopped down to about 30 minutes, okay. roughly. So there's like a most of our throws aren't in there. Mm-hmm. We're oh, learning. Sure. We we learn now <laughs> that you have to talk over our throws because if not. I clip out all the dead space, so that way it's like it's, it's a constant conversation versus yeah. like us walking and breathing, <laughs> and you know, saying on camera. So, but it talking cuts out talking. all the throws unless we talk too. So we're just kind of like finding the balance of how everything's working out. But we're gasping for air over here, <laughs> the mic. Yeah, like some of the hell. <laughs> yeah, but you guys want to uh, hop in frame here and then make sure everything's set up. We'll do a quick little intro and then uh, we'll just bullshit. Um, well, you'll, you'll, you'll get the flow of it. It's super simple. All right, so welcome back to another episode of Trail Talk and Evolve. My name is Matt. My name is Jason. And unfortunately, Jason is pupating. Is pupating. He's not here He's with us today. <laughs> uh, he is at home, but we do have Squid and David with us here today. So um, we're going to throw some discs. How we always start each hole, just because it's like a health and fitness podcast, we do 10 push ups. You don't have to do 10 push ups, but. Um, while we're doing push-ups, we just bullshit, talk about video games or fucking health or whatever. Um, today, I think video games would be a good addition since you guys are all gamers. Yeah. Um, what game are you playing right now, Squid? Uh, I mean, mainly Hearthstone right now because I'm very That's boring. That's a card game, right? Yeah, technically. Yeah. It's the uh, Blizzard, like World of Warcraft uh, card game, battle game thing. But there's the uh, Battlegrounds mode, which is like an auto battler, so you just kind of get cards and place them and then when the battle starts it just kind of does, does its thing, thing. Yeah. Yeah. you just gotta strategize how you set up and what cards you're buying when you can it's mobile right uh yeah you can do mobile and pc okay. tommy you played that game a lot um our friend carl that used to work at the chop house um he played hearthstone so him and tommy were always playing a lot yeah, there, so. I know. tommy never held back when he played with me so <laughs> it, it was just never fun <laughs> so <laughs> destroyed you. yeah all the time every time <laughs> Well, I feel like he's the best of those card strategy games. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah. It's just too good and no fun for me. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure there's like team battles or something. Yeah. What oh, about you, X? What are you playing right now? Uh, mainly Baldur's Gate. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do 10, yeah. but we'll do some. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna this real quick. Uh, you said Baldur's Gate? Yeah. And where are you guys at with that? Because you guys have been playing almost every Sunday, right? Yeah. So the group, Baldur's Gate, we're finally in Act 3. Okay. And we're doing... We're in the inner city of Act 3, so it's just like, I don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. You got that, his wizardy stuff last time. Yeah. This time where I'm going to play a, me- a necromancer. Okay. Yeah. And that's that's a uh, play-by-turn game, too? Like Yeah, okay. like turn-based combat, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's not a lot of, like, running around or anything like that. It's more just kind of play-by-play? Yeah. That's pretty dope. I don't know. I got I to gotta check out some gameplay so I can actually hop in. Like, pretty much since... I think it was August is like the episodes I'm in right now. We started talking about, oh, Boulder's Gate's coming out soon, da da da. And like those are the episodes that we have out currently. Mm-hmm. So like we need to like catch up to this conversation a little bit. But it's cool to like, you know, where we were at talking about it and like getting excited about it. And now that it seems like it's a pretty consistent game. Have either of you guys played Power World? Or heard of it? I've seen I've it. Heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, gun slavery, yeah. forced labor. You can catch people. You can catch people. <laughs> and Pokemon, yeah. Or whatever, the pals, yeah. Wait, what's the rating on <laughs> I don't know. It was the most played game on Steam for a little while. Yeah, it like blew up. But then it, it said it was down to like 800,000. Yeah, it died now. Yeah. yeah. And then the creator of the uh, game, yeah, well, the creator of the game commented on that too, like yeah. the drop off. He's like, yeah, people played the game, they had fun, and they went on to their next adventure. I hope they come back when we release new content, that kind of thing. Yeah, because it is like, still oh, early cool. release. It's not really, like, fully out yet, yeah. so. Which I think is a good mentality for them to have. It's like, yeah, go play other games while we work on this. Yeah, it's we'll like, make it better, come yeah. back and check it out. Because they bring back Chikorita with, like, a gun. <laughs> 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 Honestly, I wouldn't I imagine it's probably in the game. Uh, there are some that are similar, for sure. Yeah, that, that looks similar to Pokemon, yeah. But yeah, I saw a couple of compilations of like a <laughs> like a, <laughs> a, a uh, collage. <laughs> they like just change Haunter's eyes like this. No, <laughs> I don't know, not exactly. They're just a little bit squint here. Yeah. Uh, po- the new Pokemon game's gonna come out twenty twenty five. Oh yeah, Pokemon Zaza. I'm excited. About Zaza. That. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon Arceus, but with Zygarde instead, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh okay. And they're bringing back Mega Evolutions. Yeah, so that's gonna be mm-hmm. pretty dope. Which uh, we talked about off the pod, but like. I stopped playing Pokemon for a good chunk of time, but I started playing when, I think it was Arceus came out, or no, I got Sword and Shield, Arceus, and then uh, 
Scarlet and Violet. So I haven't even really experienced Mega Evolutions yet. So I'm actually excited to see how they incorporate the Arceus gameplay where you can actually run around and like throw up Pokeballs and then like add the, the Mega Evolutions in too. So. Yeah. Cause they're gonna be on the like I'm assuming you're gonna be able to like see them <laughs> and they're gonna be fucking massive. So I that's wonder be dope. if they're gonna that change cool. the current po- starter Pokemon ev- Mega mm. Evolutions to like the variants, or they're gonna add new variants that have the Mega Evolutions. Cause that'd be sweet if they added new variants too. Cause then it's just adding more to the game. Yeah. yeah. Cause yeah, it'd be cool to see like a, a, another Mega Swampert variant. Hell yeah. Or just uh, having a Swampert variant, mm-hmm. but also it'd be also nice to have that. Napoleon's variant that can mega evolve now. Yeah, that'd be sweet. <laughs> I, I dropped off with the Pokemon Stadium one. Yeah. <laughs> 64. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, what are these way. names? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, no, I'm still a huge nerd. Yeah, I was going through my cards the other day and, like, you know, I'll buy a $4 pack here, or, like, you know, $40 box has 10 packs in it, so it breaks out to a couple bucks a pack or whatever. And, dude, just three of the pulls I got on there, a thousand bucks. And I'm just like, I hadn't even gone through all my cards yet, but because I was like putting, I had gotten a new Charizard, so I was like putting it in the sleeve, and I'm like, I gotta look at some of these. Mm-hmm. And fucking, it's crazy, like, how strong over the last 25 years that community has been. And I feel like we're gonna go through this, like, dip off soon, where it's gonna get really quiet. Like, it, it might have a couple flops here and there, but then we're gonna do this, like, massive resurgence. Of uh, and in, in, in a couple decades, yeah. so I feel like every every good thing kind of ebbs and flows, you know. Worldwide EMP goes off, and everybody's <laughs> off technology. We still need those card games and stuff. So, yeah, speaking of conspiracies, I did hear oh, a good well, one. <laughs> so, uh, it, someone ran a simulation that if the Earth were to go through another natural flood like we have in the past, you mm. know, and and how it would change our geographic landscape, and um, so someone ran this simulation and then started like saying like hey what are these areas and they found that bill gates owns 95 percent of those areas that are above land in in a case of a natural disaster and i was like that's fucking crazy so i was like all right what what about in michigan maybe i should look at some property you know just fucking around michigan has no elevation though right well so there was in the center of the state was like pretty much the only part of it like the up got sucked down uh detroit's gone like that whole metro detroit area but in the middle there was a little, little basically an island left okay. a big big island but um, and I click on there, I go on Zillow, and there was no property for sale in that exact area, mm-hmm. except for one plot of farmland. And I'm going, why can't I find any area around? So now I'm freaking out a little bit. I'm like, now it's just correlating, now it's just like <laughs> adding up. But uh, it's just a conspiracy. But then I, I thought from this lens, Bill Gates also a decade ago said, hey, we're gonna go through a pandemic, everyone be ready. And everyone's like, oh. And that was pretty happened. easy to predict, considering it happened so many times Especially in Especially if you have so much money and computing to, like, run simulations constantly. Like, I'm yeah. sure, like... Well, honestly, just looking at the way diseases work, you could predict that something's going to go wrong yeah. at some point. Like, but then you could do the same, same theory with the flood then, too, right? Because yeah. we've gone through a lot of them. It's changed. They said New, New Zealand and Australia, um, how the, the water will fall and actually be connected. So... Um, because there's like a, enough landmass in between New Zealand and Australia that the, how the water levels like like fluctuated in different areas mm-hmm. that it just created a landmass that they basically got attached. But this is fucking conspiracy. Oh. <laughs> but it, it was it was it was enough to get me a little bit like this is kind of interesting. You See, know? One, one of the things I heard is like the magnetic pole shifting, mm-hmm. and that like will cause like a lot of like that kind of st- yeah, floods and, and, and crazy and earthquakes. And yeah. <laughs> That's what I heard. Which That's are all possibilities. That's probably where the story Noah's Ark came from. He built sure. a big ass boat and then the world shifted and he's like, oh, well, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I got all these animals with me to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's the cold open. Let's throw some discs. Oh, low battery. On the receiver? On your phone. Is it 8%? Is it still recording? Yeah. Right, we'll have enough time. My conspiracy theory now. Oh, that was actually cool. Is what? Uh, uh, throw it again, throw it again. Uh, 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 major Dave Rousey moment. <laughs> theory is clearly the tectonic plates are moving because of something on Hunter Biden's laptop. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> they would all want us to see it. They don't want us to see it. Am I disking with this on? What? Am I disking? I can, I can switch it's just you're quiet and I'm loud, so. 
I'll need it for like talking bits, but like I said, most of this gets cut out. Damn. Freaking A. <laughs> Which I should have just left it, but. Hey, it kept me in a good spot. I'll take that all day. Yo. I think so. But also too, I don't know how the audio is gonna come through. But these mics are pretty good, so. If I had the second one, it would have been perfect because it would have pulled all of us together. But I gotta get that thing figured out. Zone in. There it is. Ooh. You got caught in like 16 trees. It's like ping pong. I don't know where mine went. No. No, we just, the whole point of the podcast is to show people that you don't have to go to the gym to get in shape. You can come do this. You can go rock climbing, which we did one time. You can do other stuff where you don't have to be scared to go into a physical location. So this is, this is just for fun. I mean, feel free to keep score if you want. I don't even, I think my distance on this side. Didn't I hit a tree over here or something? Or did I hit a tree over here? So I thought, white. I thought, but it didn't go dot dot bop and went bop bop dot. Did it even go this far? Golly, man, pay attention. I'm gonna run. Da -da -da -da. I guess I could just run to the car and grab another one right here. I got the oars in the race and the ball in the race. I'm a shooter, I'm gonna take my shot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is this buried or what? Oh yeah, literally, you just catch the green on it. That's wild. The tree saved my ass or else it would have been a bad throw. No, seriously. I was literally about to just go grab a freaking uh, a new disc. I know. I would have been gone, gone. I would have blended right in. Oh, he did. <laughs> so, David, I, as long as I've known you, I feel like you've been, uh, Here's my hop over here. I feel like you've always been someone that's been in shape. You've always wanted the gym and everything like that. Are you still pretty consistent with your workout regiments? Um, <laughs> that's cool. This is good. Like you get help a lot of people that might be in the same spot. You know. I just come off. I just came off an injury. Okay. <laughs> off of a fractured collarbone. Oh. God. I've not been in the gym. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. No, for sure. You gotta let yeah, that yeah. heal. How long? Uh, how long ago was that? That was literally the day before New Year's. Damn. Yeah. Uh, still pretty fresh. I, I, yeah, definitely go to the hospital. Yeah. I wait. My dumb ass waited uh, until after New Year's celebration. <laughs> They're like, what's the pain like? Because I was actually in there for um, a torn joint in my shoulder. Okay. And then they found when they did x rays, like, oh, yeah, you have a fractured collarbone. Damn. I was telling them, I was like, what's the pain? It's like, like maybe a one. Oh, so you, we didn't even feel that no, bad. I didn't fucking feel it. And they're like, yeah, your collarbone's fractured. We need to put you in a sling. <laughs> That's also the kind of guy who bites into ice cream when it's like freezing cold. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You've got a high pain tolerance, clearly. You know, you're walking around with a fractured collarbone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, before that, before the injury, like you just, you, you do like five days a week, three days a week. What was it, like your, uh, your normal workout regimen? Four days, mm -hmm. but I right before I got injured, I did actually drop down to three days. I was mm -hmm. trying to mix in some cardio to go run with nice. my dog. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's something too. Like when we get in the cutting season, we do like a lot of stairs. But like this podcast before it was disking was like huck, ru like rucking. Like we just we put the weights on, then we walk these trails around. You know, yeah. so it's like uh, I think the cardio aspect is huge too. Like we started incorporating it just back in June, but like I don't know. I've seen a noticeable difference, although. The pack a day of smoking cigarettes isn't, uh, you know, <laughs> helping that out too much. Yeah. So. But, yeah, let's get some push ups in and. You do that every hole? Yeah, I do it every oh, hole. Well, it's like, it's, it was a trade off, right? Because before we were just walking, so we were in constant motion. And here, since we're talking a little bit and we're kind of just sitting here, we thought adding on the push ups was like a, a, a nice addition to That's what we're cool. doing. Mm -hmm. It felt more like we can help start like a workout regimen versus like just go just go on disc because discs like also sometimes people bring beers and bring you know yeah. so it's like you know make it a healthy thing sometimes and enjoy it others yeah, yeah we'll, we'll uh we'll throw after the push-ups too start playing through this is a decently long one have you guys have you played here before david 
I don't think I have. Okay. Yeah, this it's one's cool like course, it's, it's, yeah. it's pretty huge too. Like yeah. we started at seven, right? So we missed the first six holes, and then there's just still the whole back nine we got to go through. I mean, we're not gonna today unless you guys want to. But um, is it a hole nine the one I lost my and Duke lost his No, that was uh, that was hole one. Or no, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's nine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one's gonna be like two or three of those throws to get to the hole. It's pretty far out. Oh yeah, for sure. No, like two or three. <laughs> Mike tells you about when he plays courses like this, with one disc. Yeah. But like, this is like, I said, left, to take man. a break to look for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep your eyes on the prize, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's green. It's gonna go right in the grass. Yeah, yeah I like this course too because it has like wooded insides but it also has open field holes too yeah. so it's like yes for sure yeah <laughs> mine went mine went pretty close down there i'm gonna go find that literally he's aiming for it too <laughs> <laughs> It's there. That way. Red. Ah! He's aiming for my head. Can? Uh, so look at the trail, see how the trail goes? And see how it goes down and up? Like pretty much all the way out to that clearing. But like that way. Uh, can you see? Yeah, it's usually dry. And like a little puddle in the center, but it must have rained recent enough it's not i guess not usually dry but not usually that wet look right here i can see it it's a red okay best way to explain it you see the clearing like at the edge of the woods yes uh yes come in come come in from that just a little bit if you're standing right where i am you, you can see the perfect split in the trees there's a red cage looking for yeah, because like I said, it's going to take you another fuck a couple throws, dude. Oh, that's going to even out good. Yeah, buddy. Oh, nice. Watch your face. Oh, no. That bitch is gone, boy. <laughs> if I didn't have to go to work, I might. I'm going to check it. I'll scope it out. Yeah, that bitch is gone. Uh, Maybe I'll come back, but. Huh? Down a couple logs. Here, let me just pull this over there and just. Nah. Is she gone? If I if I had more time, yes. But we, I gotta film too. Uh, I gotta film. Maybe I'll come back up. Oh no, I work tomorrow. Never mind. All right, I'm gonna throw from here. <laughs> Got it all, baby. Right to the water. Where, 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 where? Yes, da, da, da. Huh? It's, like, it's usually not uh, that wet either, so like it'll it'll dry out for sure. It's usually more wet, just like in that middle center area, huh? Did you get it? No, I'm not going for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna come back another day probably. Yeah. I'll bring my boots or uh, like a waders or something. Just walk oh, right through it. there. Yeah. Well, I don't have him, but um, little Luke that works with me, he's he's left a pair of naps for the last year, so I'll use those. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, I bet. Clear. <laughs> Clear. Avoid the trees in the water. Guys, I keep getting it on the trees in the water. I don't know what's going on here. Well, they cut this down, though. What'd you call me? One time we threw a disc. Jason threw a disc right over here. Uh-uh. Hollow tree, okay. Oh yeah, I saw some fly away, yeah. They're cool, they make crazy noises. Every time we're here, they're like, uh, one time we had to like stop the podcast, I'm like, all right, well, once Jurassic Park stops talking, we can, it's like, Aah! Me too, they're cool as shit. Well, I was talking about the shittest, but we're also talking about the cranes too. Uh, We call them cranes, I don't know, they could be hearing. I don't know. What? 
but they're they're cool. They make awesome noises. Jurassic Park noises, literally. Let's see. I'm gonna do this. Whoa! Makes up for my lost one. Not really, but. Ooh. <laughs> it's just Matrix. That's good money. Oh, no, it parked. It parked. Could have been way worse. It's a weed in the business called Tumbleweeds. <laughs> Tumbleweeds. Is that an actual thing? Yeah. <laughs> what? Tumbleweed, no. <laughs> Oh, babe. Oh, buckets. I'm putting this. Putting this one, boss. This one guy waiting for us. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a campground. Yeah. Because they got horses around here. Yeah, we can we can skip this one. It's uh, it's like um, death. Yeah, it's it's literally the it's it's the worst. Yeah, we gotta walk through it. You'll see how ass it is. It's it's almost impossible not to lose it in one way or another. Because you can't see it once it lands. <laughs> yeah, for real, huh? That's a good way to look at it. It is muddy. I should have brought my boots. Well, I have my boots. I should have worn them. Oh, I literally see a disc. I see a disc already. I'm getting that bitch. Now I got a driver, guys. Yo, what are you telling us? This hole is terrible. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll meet you down there. <laughs> I've played this hole way too many times and be devastated every time. Yeah. Yeah, and then it doesn't matter. And this, they actually cut down a lot here. This used to be full. And obviously in summertime, it will get full. But yeah, this sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Every time. You're like, I don't want to hit it. I don't want to hit it. I hit it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> and this swamp doesn't change in the summertime. This stays a swamp. Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, the only, the only reason to do it would just be go collect all the discs that no one else is collecting. You, you get like 12 out of that bitch for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, literally in the same spot. We found a baby snapping turtle, too. It just happened to be dead already. Yeah, it sucked. He was. We tried to put him in the water. Wake up! Didn't we see a cat over here too? Yeah, we saw Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just edited that episode. I left the cat in. I left the cat in. I edited that episode. It might be out or just coming out. This is a short hole. And it's to the right. Okay. Oh, yeah, push ups. Yeah, yeah. Let's knock these out real quick, and then we'll play through. Challenge accepted. Challenge conquered. That's why it's nice we have two, because when we're in two separate areas, it's... And now we're, uh, this thing's coming together. We have pretty much 25 episodes ready to be edited, and then I have, like, four that were, like, early on that we decided not to publish. But realistically, like, we've been doing this for almost, like, 30 episodes, so... It's just a matter of time. We have we haven't told anyone about it, and we have a hundred downloads already. So I think once I start talking about it on my socials and shit, I feel like we can at least convert a little bit of that audience, you know, and get, get some of those people listening. Cool. Yeah, that, I mean the main objective is essentially like we're doing this stuff right now, but we want to get paid by like Patagonia to like go to like Mount Fiji and like walk the perimeter, or um, you know, just like. I don't know, um, Colorado through the Pikes Peak and go hike that and, you know, and then these companies can sponsor us to go do what we're doing now and just have our same normal conversations, but, you know, do it in across the fucking world, you know? Yeah. You Maybe one day. Hikes too. Exactly, yeah. So, uh, our first download from another country was someone in France and they've listened to every single episode we put out so far. So, like, we Thank really want to meet that motherfucker. Whoever you are, <laughs> we want to meet you so bad. Here. He wants to touch yeah. you. <laughs> no, we want to thank you. Meet him with a baguette. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Here's a baguette. <laughs> That's funny. Hopefully one day we'll be able to make our own like mini golf course, but with discs. Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. Yeah. 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 Actually, I, I told them about that the other night. We went uh, disking by my house. Um, but yeah, that's another one of our, when we get to that point too. As long as I can get like glow in dark, like 
this one goes with that. Yeah, dog. <laughs> we're, we'll, we're gonna hook it up. It's gonna be tight. And it's just gonna appear like for our people, so we can just, you know. Make sure to beep that out though, so no one steals it. Oh yeah, beep. I'll just cut this, cut that bit out. All right, let's throw some discs. Oh, pop! Did you just hear pop, pop, pop? <laughs> 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 A windmill, yeah. Part of it. You want it to go that way. Follow the curve. <laughs> no, just don't throw straight because it looks like you might have to. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> if you haven't gone and subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to Trail Talk and Evolve on any platform. You can find us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hold up. Yeah, record his failures. <laughs> you go in the right direction, though. <laughs> it's a her. It's it's orange this time, so should be easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's you know you you got a pretty valid point actually. Yeah. Dude, bugs. trust me, when I was editing that episode, it was literally every other word was fucking mosquitoes. <laughs> I'm like, we literally lost 40 minutes of this podcast <laughs> saying mosquitoes. I see mine. I see mine. I'm right ahead of you. Barrel roll. Man, I feel like Tomahawk's the only way to get out of there. Over that big bushel. Oh. Actually, I must set this on the back end. Ha! <laughs> 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 Dude, that I know the risk when I put it there. Yeah, I, it's okay. I know the risk. <laughs> oh, that's too high. Is that a nematode? Oh, nice. Fungus. Uh, this branch has some sort of disease on it. It is a birch, it looks like. Yeah. I don't know what Wait, can't you take a picture of your camera? Yeah. It's been a, okay. <laughs> okay, boomer. He's like, that's a branch. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at all them leaves. Exactly. Squid, there's someone coming through, playing through. Hup. Is it a fungus or is it a marsupial? All right, let's wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Trail Talk and Evolve. If you haven't already, share it with a friend and get outside and do something. Goodbye. Peace. Tomorrow you'll see Dad. That's tomorrow. Next Sunday you'll see Dad live in a well. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wrap.